Hey YouTube, this is the Super Dave. Uh, tonight I'm going to do an unboxing of the Deadpool 2 figure. Uh, if you've been uh, following my channel at all, uh, I've mostly been posting uh, Lord of the Rings uh, reviews and, and unboxings. Uh, despite that, I do collect other things than uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, one of my other favorite properties is Deadpool. Going back to uh, pretty much uh, his first appearance in X-Force. Uh, my brother and I used to read all the X-Men books, and uh, I remember when uh, when uh, he came out, he just seemed like this really cool character, and uh, then I collected, I was a big card collector, so I collected all the Marvel cards, X-Men cards, Marvel Universe, uh, so I really enjoyed uh, getting a hold of all those Deadpool cards, and then, uh, you know, when he started having his own series, etc., his own comic books, uh, got a lot of those, and the... the uh, the omnibus and or the collected uh, volumes and stuff like that so really enjoyed Deadpool so when they made a movie a couple years ago man I was just beside myself and uh, I watched that movie just over and over and over I thought it was a phenomenal movie um, so I did manage to get my hands on the uh, first release of the Hot Toys Deadpool second hand and you know he had some of the typical issues that that figure had uh mostly uh the knee pads separating so um got them for a decent price um really cool figure one of my favorites on the shelf especially uh and just tons of potential for uh, photography uh lots lots you can do with them just given the nature of deadpool's character so uh when deadpool 2 came out of course i rushed right out to see it and saw it a couple times in the theater and um Pre-ordered the uh, uh, Deadpool 2 action figure as soon as it came out. I've also got uh, the dusty version or the gray version uh, as well uh, on the way. I should have that one here directly. Um, but uh, here's the uh, Deadpool 2 version. I'm going to go ahead and do a full unboxing for you and uh, get them out and get them set up and uh, all that good stuff. So as you can see, the brown shipper, Hot Toys, uh, Deadpool 2, uh, MMS 490. And uh, here he comes. So this this is just the easiest way to do this. It's not very cool looking or very graceful, but so there you go. Brown shipper and plastic bag out of the way. And uh, there you have it, Deadpool. So we can see on the box, Deadpool 2, movie masterpiece. He's got his unicorn, which that's uh that's from the movie yeah obviously that's from the movie it's a plush uh so there you go typical box uh, it's a sleeve so we're gonna slide this right off and all right window box underneath hopefully there's not too much glare on it you can see uh there's the figure we got our uh, x-men trainee jersey the uh stuffed unicorn there's a, all his hands there, which that's not taped down in there. Uh, what are those? Oh, those are the uh, stripper shoes. What else? Let's get them out and see. So, oh, there you go. X-Men trainee. Um, look at that uh, cast and crew, the uh, people behind the sculpt and the production of this figure. X-Men trainee again. So let's... Uh, Get him out of here. Try to be careful with my boxes. I mean, it, they're just—they're nice to have around. I—I I do keep all my boxes. Oh, come on, I want to tear it, but it's a little, little stiff in there. There we go. Uh, slide them right out. Uh -oh, there's some underneath. Uh, let's put the box aside. And... Oh, okay. Cool. So we got... Uh, there's his, uh, his stand is uh, in there underneath the, uh, the tray. And there's all the pieces to set it up. What is that? I'm not sure what that is. have to read the directions. 
All right, well, I'm going to put that aside for now. Let's just dive into this figure. Super excited about this. Uh, so here's some instructions. Pull those off, and those will probably be handy a little later. I don't think I'm going to set up the... Uh, well, maybe I will. I don't know. I'm going to have to tear all this back down. I'm moving in a couple weeks. So everything I get out is going to have to be boxed right back up. Let's get this off, because we're going to want hands and his knife. So there's that. Let's pop this clear tray off. Let's set that back there. And here's Deadpool. So I heard this was an improvement on the uh, on the uh, um, first release. He does look a little darker, a little darker red. Um, you see, those are silver instead of uh, is that. Is that how they are in the movie? It's been a while since I'm... Not a while. It's probably been like two weeks since I watched the movie, if I'm being honest. But what they, I guess they were silver. But So these are metallic. That's a little bit different. Unlike the first one where they matched just kind of a matte red. These uh, shin guards and his uh, boot uh, armor. It's metallic. That's interesting. And then uh, right away I can tell that these knee pads are part of the suit as opposed to something on top of the suit or an additional piece so hopefully those uh stand up a little bit better stand up to the test of time um other than that the suit feels pretty much the same uh i can see some differences um i'll probably do another uh comparison video like i did with my frodo action figures uh just between the two of them uh i can tell there's some subtle, subtle differences between the two of them, uh, beyond the color alone. But other than that, I mean, you know, it looks mostly the same. It's got the same uh, straps here, uh, shoulder uh, armor or shoulder pads, whatever those are. The the strap for his gun gun belt, and then his utility belt there. Um, these little uh, fasteners, these throwing knives or uh, push daggers. Uh, yeah, all right, let's get his stuff out, guys. Let's... Here's the stripper shoes. Uh, same metallic uh, armor piece there. There you go. Those are some stilettos. I don't know if it doesn't look like they would uh, support him very well, but I guess, you know, I guess, do they really support anyone really well? I mean, like, even in real life, they're pretty wobbly, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. Let's try those out. <laughs> That's funny. It's a funny, uh, funny little accessory there. Here's, uh, of course, the unicorn. Man, this hurts me harsh light let's see if we can there we go yeah for that uh we got a little gold uh golden horn golden hooves there you go very cute little uh, accessory there for a weighty boy come on there we go what else have we got we got the uh x-men trainee shirt and it's all little plastic so we'll get that out in a sec. Ah, oh, here we go. The uh, ubiquitous katanas. Um, I'd heard. Let's see. Yeah. So let's see if we can see if we can capture this. That's gonna be tough. I might have to. Can we see that? No. It's really. So the sword, you can kind of see it there. Let's do that. The swords are named B and Arthur. And the original release didn't have anything like that. It didn't have this. So here's B. You can see it's written. And there's Arthur. Which, is that going to show up? Yikes. That is... 
it's very uh, subtle. It's like yellow, yellow right, yellow or gold writing on silver. So it uh, it's there. You can see it with the naked eye. If but uh, you, you do kind of gotta look closely, but it's there. So very cool uh, little detail there. The sword uh, and of course they're magnetic, just like on the last one. Uh, very cool detail. The uh, name of his swords. I'm glad to see they added that. What else have we got? Uh, his guns. Of course, the Desert Eagles. Um, something I should probably know. I don't know. Were these 50 cal Desert Eagles or 44 mag? Uh, very similar to um, what we got with Deadpool 1. Working, uh, working slides. The round down looks like it'd be a 50. Yeah, because it's an accurate representation and what's the scale of an actual working firearm. Never mind me. But yeah, magazines are uh, releasable. You can see the ammo inside. And then the detail of the pistol. Very cool. Very cool. Now one thing about the last version was uh, these pistols didn't stay in the holsters very well and unfortunately I guess it kind of feels like it's the same same thing where they don't really snap in or anything why is my focus giving me such issues um they kind of just lay in there they're not I mean, they're gonna there's no 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 snapping in no retention I mean, you can push them all the way down and that'll keep them in there, but they're they're loose in there. There's not, nothing uh, nothing keeping them in. So be careful with that. If you're gonna have them turning flips and, and whatnot, then uh, uh, you could probably slide maybe some double-sided tape down in there and that would retain them well enough and, and be innocuous enough to uh, maintain the form of the figure and what else uh, so we got his, his all his eyes of course all the different uh, squinty eyes open eyes different eyes just like the last one. Oh, here's a uh, come on come on I can't get it out wow that was a good move um <laughs> look at that his eyes popped out that's <laughs> kind of funny looking. And a gun fell out. So, what I was trying to get out, uh, before, right before I knocked my figure over, was the uh, mutant ability inhibitor, which, of course, it's not going to focus. Come on. Camera. There we go. Mutant ability uh, inhibitor, which. Not magnetics, just got this little clasp here that would fit uh, right around and just pop that right around on his neck. Very cool. Let me get his eyes, man. That's creepy looking. I should probably get a stand out if I'm going to be doing this, huh? Oh, I've got to bend over. <sighs> So, I, well, I guess I haven't got around to everything yet, but I don't see the magnet, like, that came with the, uh, the original. I'm sure it's in there. Like I said, I just haven't gotten into everything. I haven't even pulled out his, uh, camera. Get in there. I haven't pulled out his, uh, so that's not seated. Yeah, I guess it is his stand so he's not wanting to stand up so I'm just going to lay him over while I get the rest of the stuff out oh, let's get a stand out so one thing I didn't really like about the original Deadpool uh, some extra wrist pegs oh, is that showing up God damn focus original wrist pegs um, it's a flight stand and I'm, I'll tell you guys I just don't want to get this out I don't like the flight stands. Um, I like the crotch grabbers, so I'm just going to leave this in here. 
Um, but it's a little bit different base. There you can you can tell uh, Deadpool better logo I think, and uh, Deadpool two there on the uh, actual stand. It's a, a smaller footprint I think too from the original. That that other one was huge. That diamond shape um, took up too much room on my shelf, man. So I I, uh, I never used it. So it's in my closet somewhere. I'm gonna have to get that and take it down. Um, and then here, a uh, little bag of, uh, why is this acting stupid? Um, the fasteners that go, I guess those are on his, those are his neck ones, neck fasteners. And then those would be, I, oh, uh, for the belt. So if, I guess if uh, one of those comes off the belt, you get some extras. That's nice. Um, pretty handy to have, I guess. So you have it. Don't uh, don't lose those. I guess that's what. Um, well, let's let's consult the the instructions real quick. I wonder if that's what that uh, little Deadpool icon is, if that's the magnet to pull out the eyes. Uh, so we got instructions on the flight stand, uh, cautions against posing, like where you can mess them up, sharp swords. Oh, his knife. I, where is his knife? Oh, it's in there with his hands. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't say what the magnet is. I'm guessing that's... Well, there's the instructions for um, shoes, the uh, collar, shirt. Oh, like the Velcro's on the side. And then the uh, the shelving. That's cool. Oh, that's what that... That's a magnet for his uh, swords, to mount the swords on the shelf. That's cool. But where... I guess, does it not come with one? Or are we just able to do it uh, with our own fingers now or are we supposed to am I missing it I don't see anything else in here doesn't mean it's not there though like I'm not hmm maybe it's in here um I don't really want to get all this stuff out to be honest with you like I said, I'm going to have to tear everything down and, and box all my figures back up here in the next couple weeks uh, to move. So I don't see that, uh, that particular device to remove his eyes. So I guess uh, maybe this time around uh, we just do it with our hands. Which it's not that hard. I think the initial, the first release was it was a lot harder to get those out, but even those ones you can do by hand. So there you have it, uh, Deadpool two. Oh, you know what? Let's get to there's all his hands and his knife. We can get his knife out. Put that in his sheath. So, knife, come on, there you go, knife, uh, pretty much the same as the other one, nice and shiny, nice and sharp, and of course his hands, and those two uh, little throwing knives that he's got in there, so I'm just going to snap that back on there. So I don't lose any of that. And then we got the uh, trainee shirt. So let's get this out. This is kind of a cool accessory. And I might uh, I might display him with that. So Velcro's on the side. Yeah, all right. And then uh, it's not too bad. I could probably pop his head off, but I'm not going to. 
So let me just Velcro it back on. So it's got Velcro on the uh, sleeve and then a separate Velcro down the side. Yeah, straighten them out a little bit. Uh, we can take the color off while we're doing this. There you go. X-Men trainee. Let's see if the magnets are... Yeah. You can throw that back on there. I guess you could uh, undo the Velcro and bunch it up like it is uh, more in the film. But pretty cool accessory to, to have with him. I like that. I think I'm going to display him like that. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's my unboxing of the Deadpool 2. Uh, Hot Toys Deadpool 2 figure. Um, I'll probably do another video with him. Uh, me getting them all set up and assembled. And I'll definitely do a comparison video with the original Deadpool. But thanks for watching. Uh, it's been fun. And uh, we'll see you next time.